So for Complacent, um, I hadn't been creating for well over two years. And when moving to Thailand, you very quickly realize that you can't drink the water there. But essentially, you'd go to 7-Eleven, you'd buy a giant bottle of water, plastic water. Um, they'd put it in a plastic bag with a plastic straw that was wrapped in plastic. And it would all end up in the Chao Phraya River and washed out to sea. After spending some time on an island and helping to clean up some of the beaches there, I came up with the idea of collecting plastic waste and plastic bags and then knitting them together to create almost like a giant blanket of waste. The whole piece is about the overproduction and use of waste and plastic waste. I want to say that it was decently impactful. I had about 200 people come through the opening weekend. It was absolutely phenomenal. The conversations that I had with these people who came through were everything based off of the morality of the use of plastics or even just art in general and what creates art. If it didn't have an impact as a greater whole, it had impacts on individual people. Yes, I think that art is definitely an out outlet for social change. You can see it throughout art history and today. It's constantly morphing and changing and artists are finding a new way of developing themselves and speaking on social changes that need to happen. As artists, we are responsible in some form or another to bring these ideas to the public as a whole whether that be in just a small town or a city at large. Chromophobia is a series based on the art world and art aesthetics and how in Western aesthetics there's a, a separation between masculine and feminine art forms. I've created paintings based on hyper-masculine sculptures mixed with classical paintings of women taking back power and retaliating. It's essentially made me more cognizant of these patriarchal and uh, colonistic points of view throughout Western society as well as in other cultures. My paintings are a way of showing them but also questioning why we need to be in this situation to begin with. Yeah, I think that it does have some form of an impact. It, it does have something to do with other people's lives and how they view the world around them. Most of the time I have more of a feeling that I like to put into my artwork, that feeling of awe. And it can only be like that split second of like walking into a gallery and seeing something absolutely beautiful or walking around the corner and seeing something else. I want to have my viewers see my work with even just like a snippet of awe when they look at it. You can come and see me at Artwork Center for Contemporary Art. My studio is actually the very south corner studio, so you can walk by and wave and say hello to me, or come on in and say hello. Otherwise, send me an email and we can set up a time and I'll give you a private tour. So, cool stuff. <laughs> thank you so much, Elizabeth. Well, thank you, Avery. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's more like socially concerned meets pretty, <laughs> we'll call it that, something nice to look at.